Hi there, Susie here from the Geneva Public Library. Um, I am going to show you how to craft a coaster with book pages or maps, whatever your preference is, with our adult craft take and make. So inside your kit, you will see some map pages and book pages. The tile of your coaster, it does have cork on the back, so it'll be nice and safe for your furniture. A foam paintbrush. And a little container of glue. Now, the container of glue is where things get kind of exciting. Very exciting, because it's a special glue. It's uh, a plasticized glue that we use to repair all our books here at the library. And what's nice about it is that it's flexible, but it dries um, hard and flexible so that, you know, no cracks, anything like that. The only thing about the glue is, however, it's very thick. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna pour a little bit of water into your glue. You don't want it to be a crazy amount of water. You want it to be about the consistency of maybe a glass of milk, um, enough to make it a little thinner, but not too much where the glue won't stick. Okay, so you have your items to make your, your coaster, and you can do this several ways. You can make strips with your book pages and just lay them however you want them. Um, you know, you could do something like, you know, you get the gist. You could lay a map over the whole thing. You know, you just trace the back and cut it out and then lay a map over the whole thing. Or if you're like me, I like to layer and I also like to have um, items that mean a little something to me. So for my, I picked a few different things. A map of Ireland that shows County Kerry where my grandpa is from. A little blurb, of def the definition of library and this one you'll love this is a picture of a monocle with the definition of monocle and i'll get to that in a second i like to tell stories when we're doing crafts normally we would be doing this in a group and we'd all be chatting so instead of just being very quiet and doing my craft i'm going to tell you the story of the monocle while i'm crafting here <laughs> So first, what we're going to do is we're going to paint our tile, whatever section we're working on, whether it's the whole thing or part of it, depending on how you've decided to make yours. So we're going to take our little sponge brush and we're going to paint this. And you honestly, before you get going too far, you'll probably want to use um, either a plastic tablecloth or some newspapers under you or even just use the bag that um, your craft kit came in if you want, um, just so that you don't get a ton of glue on your furniture, that would be no fun. Although it does wash off, so either way, whatever you feel like. All right, so I painted that with my glue, and I'm gonna lay this over the top. I've already pre-measured it. It's a little off, but that's okay because so am I. All right, so then we are going to put more glue over the top. And this is where you kind of want to really soak it, get that map good and wet. The wetter it is, um, it, do, it will wrinkle. So you can use um, a credit card, um, you know, something smooth, like maybe a plastic spoon. I just like to use my fingers. And um, you can smooth those, those little um, ripples out that you get when you start, when it starts to get wet. So I'm just rubbing it. You're still gonna have like what looks like um, a bump, but honestly, once it's dry, you're gonna hardly be able to tell it's even there. And mine hangs over the side a little bit. So I'm actually gonna go around the sides, make sure that they get good and glued. And I'm gonna keep going with my, so you're gonna just repeat this process um, the, the tile is already wet from whatever you've put down. So if you have something you want to put on top of it, you just 
decide where exactly you might want it. Um, I think it's gonna go over here. Eh, maybe I'll, yeah, I'll put it here. That's where I've decided it's gonna go. So there's that one. And if you want it to hang over the edges a little more, go ahead and let that happen. And then you can just um, rub it over on the sides just because it will, like I said, it, it does get bumpy once it starts to get wet, just like any paper would. And I just lightly rub it. The, the, the glue dries clear, so you do not have to worry about um, if there's some white spots on there. Those are all gonna be clear when you're done. So now comes the fun part where I tell you the story of a monocle. So I've worked at the Geneva Public Library since 1991, which makes this year my 29th year since I started. Now, granted, I did leave for college and come back. So there was a little span in between for about maybe four or five years where I was not here. But I've been here most of my life. And the story of the monocle comes from one of my favorite little patrons who would come in with his mother into the children's room. Very precocious, very intelligent. He was just a joy to talk to. He literally just graduated, he's gonna graduate high school this year, I believe. But one day he came in with his mom and he had marker all over his face. And I looked at him, I was like, well, what, what'd you do to your face, buddy? And he told me that it was his monocle. He had drawn a circle around his eye and a line down his cheek. And he goes, that's my monocle. And I just looked at this, you know, four-year-old little boy who knew what it, not only what a monocle was, but what it looked like. And he had drawn it on with a magic marker. <laughs> and I looked at his mom and I thought, oh boy, I bet mommy was really pleased with that. And mom laughed. But that's what I'm, I love those little stories that I get from the little people and the big people from the library because believe me, I think about you all when I'm home too. And I'm so glad that we're open again and we can do these things together, even if it's just by video. So as you can see, I've got everything laid the way I want it. it looks pretty cool. Obviously it's very wet. Now what's going to happen next is you're going to want to let this sit for probably at least a good six hours. It dries very quickly, but it's still going to be tacky underneath. We always leave ours for when we're repairing book, we always leave it for at least 24 hours. So you're going to leave that for about six, at least, you know, at least that long. Now as an optional, you know, addition, you could then when this is dry, you could spray it with a clear coat or just a couple swipes of polyurethane. The library couldn't provide that for you, I'm sorry, but if you want this to be like dishwasher safe or um, you want, it's gonna get some heavy use, that might be a step you wanna think about. Um, but just for everyday use to throw your coffee on it or something, as long as it's not something that's sweating too much, you will be fine. Or if you just wanna use it as a paperweight or anything else. And there you have it. I have County Cary in Ireland. I have the library definition and I have my little man with a monocle. So I hope you enjoyed this craft and will join us for our next craft. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube page and uh, you'll be notified of anything that comes up in the future. And if you like, when you're all done, you can take a picture of you and your craft and post it on our face or your Facebook, but tag us at Geneva Public Library. And we would love to see your finished product. And I hope you enjoyed this. You guys all have a wonderful day. Talk to you soon. Okay. So I'm all done with my project now. As an optional afterward, you may want to seal it with a spray clear coat or even um, maybe a coat of polyurethane. It will dry hard, um, but it if, if anything sweaty comes in contact with it, if you're, you have a lot of condensation on your cup, it will make the glue sort of sticky again. So you'll probably want a clear coat if you plan on using it for anything like that. Just a cup of coffee or to use as a paperweight. You don't have to do a darn thing. But it's all done. And if you really like this, make sure that you subscribe to our YouTube channel. We would love if you would share this with us on Facebook. So you would just take a picture of yourself post it to your page and tag us at Geneva Public Library. 
and we will be able to see the items that you made. Again, thank you for joining me today. I miss you all. I can't wait till we can do this in person. Take care and have a good day. Bye.